Wranglers Baseball. That's right, I said baseball. For those of you that know me, I uh, do a lot of Red Rock Wranglers NCAA Football 14, but today we are going to introduce the Wranglers Baseball team on Super Mega Baseball 2. I am very excited to get this thing started. We have a great league lined up, but before we go through the league, I am going to introduce you to the Wranglers team. We're going to take a quick look here at the players. Uh, we're going to take a quick look at first base, excuse me, uh, center field, uh, Severus Sasso. We got Nickel King playing first base. Shaz Hatter is going to play right field. Um, Jack Lopez is left field. Larry Curtis is second base. Menace Reef is shortstop. John Johns, otherwise known as JJ, is going to be playing. What is he going to be playing? I seem to have lost him on my list here. Hmm. I don't know where he went. Actually, he's playing catcher. Sorry about that. Uh, Ryan Dropkin is going to be playing um, third base. And then on our bench, we got Jefferson Howdy, Mac Cheesy, Trevor Did, our speedster contact guy coming off the bench, Wesley Scales, Frank Butterman. Our starting, one of our starting pitchers is Havoc Middleman. The other one is Ralph McRalphie. Van Campbell is another one of our starters. And finally, Ty Hunt is our final starter for our uh, pitching group. And then our relievers include Felipe Bruce, Brickley Peppers, Emmett Beefy, Wally Flan is our closer, and that does it. So again, Severus Sasso, uh, probably one of our uh, top players. Um, I kind of made him kind of interesting just so he stands out. Lots of great color scheme, so we're going to keep him as is. Uh, I kind of went through, obviously I made this Wranglers team. Uh, you know, I just made some slight changes to an already created logo. Um, so that was somewhat nice and easy. Gave him the color scheme as my Red Rock Wranglers um, NCAA football 14 stuff. And so we now have the Wranglers baseball. I'm excited to bring this to you guys. The next big thing that we're going to talk about here. So obviously we've got the Wranglers and we have set up a custom league. Uh, and what I want to show you guys is so this custom league, if, if any of you have ever wondered uh, where to go on vacation, whether or not you want to go to the beach or whether or not you want to go to the mountains, this league is going to help you decide as this league is called the Great Vacation League, the GVL, made up of the Beach Division and the Mountain Division. Beach Division includes teams, the Bottlenoses, the Aquatics, the Sharks, and the Swordfish. The Mountain Division includes the Logmen, the Brown Bears, the Foresters, and your Wranglers baseball team. So what we're going to do is we are going to get started here with a 16-game season. Uh, with the thought process that uh, we're only going to do seven inning games just to kind of keep things somewhat short and sweet. Uh, nine inning games are fun, but sometimes I feel like they're a little bit too long. So we're going to go with seven inning games. Um, and we are going to, again, play 16 games. Four teams will make the playoffs. Uh, obviously, two, I assume, from each division uh, with uh, those final four coming down to the championship game. And that will help uh, you decide where you want to go on vacation, uh, whenever your next vacation might be. Uh, I, th I thought it would be a fun process for my family in general to make the decision where we want to go on our vacation off of this game. But uh, I don't know that any, everybody agreed. So <laughs> in any case, we're going to have some fun and play some red, or excuse me, just we're just going to call this Wranglers. We're going to play some Wranglers baseball. We're going to open our season, our 16-game season, against the Foresters uh, out of the Mountain Division. So this will be a Mountain Division game, important game for the Wranglers. One other key thing I did want to show you guys 
uh, is uh, actually I can't do it now so we're not gonna worry about it so in any case let's go ahead and get into this game Wranglers against the Foresters Havoc Middleman is going to be our starter today let's get going here thank you guys for watching I appreciate it just playing a little super mega baseball 2 today we're excited opening up with a new league, the Great Vacation League. If you ever wondered again where you wanted to go, whether or not you want to go to the mountains or to the beach, this league is going to help you decide as we have the beach division and the mountain division going up against each other with the winner to decide where you should go on your next vacation. <laughs> We're opening up uh, play here in the mountain division. Wranglers against the Foresters. Let's get this game underway. Again, Havoc Middleman is our starter at pitcher. Let's go ahead and get this game underway here. First pitch is out, and that is hit. Quickly just there to the second baseman, and that is our first out of the game. Good start here for the Wranglers. Next up here is Nick Stranning for the Foresters. Great color scheme there with the yellow and red. Very bright versus our, whoop, that's not, right, not going to be good. Luckily that just goes to our shortstop who was able to throw him out. Menace Reef with the play. Nice play by him. Next up is Heave. I don't even know how to pronounce that name. I'm not even going to try. Schlankowitz. I guess I tried. Havoc Middleman with the pitch, misses it again. Luckily that is foul. He's not having a great start to this game, I would say. Kind of missing some pitches. He's going to go right down the middle. Going to try to get over there. Nice diving grab, and he throws him out. Great play player there by Larry Curtis. Gets that out. And that's going to now bring up two outs. And the next player up to bat is Bolivar Hardcore. Hopefully he's not as hardcore as I'm nervous about. Again, missed a pitch there, but luckily he didn't swing. We'll move over here. Let's try the slider, trying to get it on the outside. Top corner there and get him for the strike. That's strike number two. Let's see if we can get this final out and get ourselves. Ooh, that was missed. Let's come with the four-seamer right to the inside here. So we get him to swing, and we do, but it is fouled off. Lighter now down and in, and he swings with that strikeout by Havoc Middleman. Great first, first, uh, first inning here. Three up, three down, and there is our uh, do up: Severus Sasso, Nickel Cling, excuse me, Nickel King, and Shaz Hatter. Severus Sasso up to bat, wearing the fantastically bright. Green colors here. He's going to let that first one pass for ball one. He's going to come towards the inside there. Swing. That is fouled off. Strike number one. And there's strike number two. Ooh, and that was a great pitch there. Kind of started outside and came back inside, and that was a strikeout for Severus Sasso. Next up is Nickel King. Severus Sasso is mad. Not just, just a quick dribbler to the third baseman. He catches that and gets out number two. Not a good start here offensively for the Wranglers. But there's a nice hit, and that one's going into the gap, and it is going to be out for a home run. Shaz Hatter, first home run for the Wranglers. What a huge hit there. Jazz Hatter's first home run, 451 feet, and first RBI of the season. Nice hit there by Shaz Hatter. Next up is Jack Lopez. He is going to swing on a first pitch there, and that goes foul. That one comes out to the outside. He swings again. I guess I'm swinging. <laughs> and that is low into the inside, and that is a strike. And that will be the end of that inning. That is first inning. Wranglers after a nice hit by Shaz Hatter on the home run. Score is now one to zero. Judd Hackett is up to bat now. Again, Havoc Middleman is our pitcher. Thanks for watching if you are just joining us. 
Trying to get that one. What a play. That is actually a catch on the line drive there. That is out number one. Nice play there by Nickel King on the catch. She has had her here. Oops, excuse me. Nickel. Excuse me. Havoc Middleman. Sorry, all these all these crazy weird names. I love I love this. I love all these names on Super Mega Baseball 2. They're just hilarious. Ooh, tried to die for that one. Couldn't quite get there. And that'll be a base hit for the who are we playing again? <laughs> Daniel Foresters. We're playing the Foresters. Jeez. Next up here is Daniel Rotten. I hope he is what his name is. And I hope he is not a very good baseball player. Try to break that down to the inside again to swing, and we do that as strike number two. Let's come up inside at him and see. Well, let me get him to swing one more time, and he is fooled, and that is out number two. Havoc Middleman, second strikeout of the game. Having a good start here. Next up is Jerry Woods. All right, low and inside, he swings out of strike one. Onto the outside. There's a ball. Let's come with the fork ball. I don't really know what this does. I never really used it. Well, that is a strike. Nice pitch. Out of the inside, and he swings, and that is a foul ball. Let's come with the changeup now to the outside here. And that is out number three. Havoc Middleman has gotten into a groove. Score still one to nothing here. Bottom of the second inning. Up to bat is going to be Larry Curtis, Menace Reef, and John Johns, otherwise known as JJ. Larry Curtis is our second baseman here. He's going to let that first one go. Ball number one. Next one right up the middle. Nice hit. That's going to be a base hit. Nice way to start this inning here for the Wranglers. Menace Reef is up to bat. He's more of a speed guy, as you can see there, than he is a power guy. But you never know what might happen. As the pitch goes right at the middle, and that is a double play ball. And that is, in fact, a double play. Nice play there by the Foresters to get the double play. Started out well, but not so well now for the Wranglers. JJ is now up to bat, and he laces one right up the middle. That will be a base hit. Again, another first pitch swing. It seems to be working out at this point for the Wranglers. Ryan Dropkin is up to bat. And that is going to go outside. Ball number one. Should have probably swung at that one. That was a strike right down the middle. And there comes another one, and that is laced up the middle. That will be a base hit. And we're going to have players now on first and second base with Havoc Middleman, our pitcher, up to hit. I think we got to go with it. I don't know. We should probably just two outs. Just makes sense to try to swing and see if we can do something. He hits one's out to center field, but that is caught. And that will end the inning. Wrangler still in the lead, one to nothing now, moving into the third. Adelmo Drummond, Beth Eccles, and Nick Stranding are going to be up for the Foresters. Havoc Middleman has been pitching a pretty good game here to start. Hopefully that can continue. Although that one is missed. That one is going to be a fair ball. That could turn into a double. Let's see if we can get that one in. Be able to hold him there at first. Way to get over there quickly in order to keep that from turning into a double. Go low, low and see the get her to swing, but no, that is still a strike though. Nice pitch. Oop, we missed on that one, and that one is hit. Let's see if we can get the double play here. First to second, back to first, and we do get the double play. Nice play there by the Wranglers. Nick Stranding is now up to bat with two outs. Keep running it to the inside, and that is a strike. Havoc Middleman is playing well. He's missed a couple pitches, but they haven't hurt him. So that is a good sign here for us. Oop, that one's missed. 
Probably not necessarily missed in a bad way. Ooh, that one's going to be missed also. Ooh, but that was a strike. That was way to the outside. I'm calling it a strike. And that is strike number three. And that is out number three. And we move on to the bottom of the third inning. Severus, top of the order is back up. Severus Sasso, Nickel King, and Shaz Hatter. Shaz Hatter did have a home run in that first inning. And that's how we got to our score of one to nothing. Severus Sasso is probably our top player here on the team. He's uh, pretty good across the board, power, contact, and speed. And he hits one right to the second baseman. And that is going to be out number one. Just as I'm talking him up, he just hits one right to second base and gets out number one. That ball is outside. And that ball is high, but it's strike number one. Another high one. Didn't chase that one. Ball two. And that's going to be a foul. That's going to be strike number two. Ooh, a little high. Full count. Ooh, a little blooper. Pitcher grabs it. Throws him out. And it's out number two for the Wranglers. Shaz Hatter is up to bat. He had that huge home run there in the first at bat. Probably should have swung at that one. Ooh, and that one is going to be a pop-up. Looks like it's going to be caught by the catcher. It is for out number three, and that'll take us now to the fourth inning. Up to bat, Heave Schlankowitz again. Havoc Middleman continues to do well here. Let's hopefully see if we can continue. That is a pop-up, hopefully... See who's going to try to catch that one there. It is going to be Menace Reef all the way from shortstop. It's all the way back there to make that catch. Bolivar Hardcore now up to bat. Nice hit. Whoop, pick that up. Hey, nice play. After booting that ball, Dropkin's able to grab it there and make a throw to first and get that out. Nice play. Back to the inside here. That seems to be working well. Just continuing to jam these guys. Seems to be working. Almost hit. Let's go now back out to the outside. Ooh, that's really way outside, but that is hit. And that's just going to be a simple little looper there. Toss over, and that is going to be out number three. Now bottom of the fourth, Jack Lopez, Larry Curtis, and Menace Reef are going to be up here to start. Jack Lopez seems to be pretty good. He's got some power, a little bit of speed. Ooh, that was a little high. Probably shouldn't have swung at that one, but I did. So is that one. Same exact pitch, but a little bit more inside. That one got me. Ball number one. There goes ball number two. Ooh, and that one caught the edge of the plate for strike number three. And Ryan Dropkin goes down for the strikeout. Larry Curtis now up to bat. That one is way outside for ball number one. Ooh, that one caught the inside corner. I don't know if I agree with that, but it is what it is. Right at the middle there, nice play by the second baseman. Gets it to first, and that is out number two in this inning. Menace Reef loves his bats, as you can see there. See if he can get a nice hit here. It'd be nice if he can get... Whew, those corners are getting there. Menace Reef hits one, but that is going to be high. That's just going to be an easy pop-up. We're out for number three as we move into the fifth inning already. This game seems to be flying by. Hemi Oldham is now up to bat here. We're going to keep with this inside action. It seems to be working. Yeah, I'm look, yeah, it looks like I'm throwing a lot of pitches down the middle. Why, not really. I've been throwing a lot of pitches to the inside. A lot of pitches to the inside. <laughs> I know, you should experiment with doing pitches. But when you're throwing strikes, who cares? 
All right, let's come back with the chains up back to the outside. And that is fouled off. That is now two strikes. Let's just come, let's come with something crazy here like the fork ball. Now he gets him for the strikeout. He is angry, trying to break his bat. But now Daniel Rotten is up. Let's see if we can get him to chase something. Not quite. Let's come with the slider to the outside for him. And then a strike number one. I don't know if that was very much to the outside. <laughs> That's going to be more to the inside. Get him off the plate there. That one was a little bit missed and is swung on and fouled. That'll be strike number two. Let's come with something crazy here, like the curveball. Missed it, and that is hit right up the middle, and that is going to be a base hit. Nice at bat. Going to have to keep an eye on him. He may try to steal on us. Woo! Oh, should have jumped for that one. Yikes, got to get over there. That was a great hit. He is going to stay at third. That was close. Nice double. Takes the guy that was on first all the way over to third. I can't remember his name. Now we need a couple of quick outs, or we need some outs here with a couple of guys on base. This could be what the Foresters needed. Go back to the outside here. That is going to be a run scored. Just out number two for the Wranglers. That's going to tie up the score one to one. In the inside there, strike number one. We're going to go back to the outside here. Oh, not quite close enough for her to want to chase. That is fouled. That is strike number two. Let's see. What should we go with here? Let's come up with forkball. Got a strike number three and out number three. And that'll take us to the bottom of the fifth inning with the score one to one. Great game here. John Johns, Ryan Dropkin, and Havoc Middleman, our pitcher, are going to be up. At this point, my plan is to keep Havoc Middleman in there, but we'll see if we can get something going here. John Johns is up to the plate here first, right down the middle. Hits that one foul. It looked a little bit low, and it was. That's ball number one. That inside corner keeps getting me. And I swing on that one and miss. JJ strikes out. And now Ryan Dropkin is up to bat. Got this crazy stance here. And that is continue. They continue to get that corner. Makes me want to swing, which I just did there. And that is going to be out number two. They're working the inside corner just like I'm doing on them. It's going back and forth here. Havoc Middleman is now up to bat. I think we'll just leave him in to bat here. And he blasts one out to left field. Is that going to go? No, just short all the way out to the warning track. Nice hit by the pitcher. Almost hit one out of the park. But that came up just short. That would have been huge. But in any case, now that will take us to the top of the sixth inning. Nick Stranning is up to bat. I feel like we should switch it up here a little bit and do something different, but at the same time, you want to keep doing what's working. That's probably not going to be good. Oh, luckily that is a pop-up. Looks like John Johns is going to catch that. Nice play by the catcher to get out there and make that play. And that is out number one. Eve Schlankowitz is now back in the game. Let's come. We've been starting on the inside a lot. Let's start on the outside for her this time. And that does not trick her. Just kind of hoping to get her to chase one. Now we're going to go right to the third baseman, and that is going to be a line drive and an out. Next up here, Bolivar Hardcore again. Come with the slider to the inside this time. And that is strike number one. Let's come back with the change up. That's going to go right down the middle. Caught him off guard, wasn't ready. That is strike number two. 
Let's just come at him right here to the inside. Get him to swing. Oh, he catches that one nice. Probably should have thrown that a little bit more off the plate. See if I can get him to chase. That was a little bit too, too much inside. And now Judd Hackett. Power guys into the game here. Next up to bat, we'll have to see whether or not we can get him to chase. Not so on pitch number one. Not so on pitch number two. And that'll be a strike off of the foul ball. Let's come back with the fork ball, see if we can get him to chase, and he does, and that is fouled off. Let's come back with this crazy curveball. Woo! And that is a strike and out number three. What a pitch there to end that inning. And the score remains one to one here at the bottom of the sixth. What an exciting game here to start this season here in the GVL, the Great Vacation League. Severus Sasso up to bat. He is currently 0 for 2 in this game. Let's see if he can step up here for us. Again, back to the inside corners. Makes me want to hit swing at those, which I did there. That goes right to the second baseman again. Now Severus Sasso, our top player, is 0 for 3 in this game. Nickel King now up to bat. And again, that hits the corner. He continues to get those corners. That one has fouled off. That was a little high. Probably shouldn't have necessarily... Ooh, that one was close. That was close. Probably should have swung at that one. That one's hit right up back the middle. Nice hit by Nickel King to get on base. Now with one out, we're going to go ahead and just swing here with, I thought about bunting, but with Shaz Hatter up, that power, I kind of wanted to see whether or not he can get a nice hit here. Ooh, starts off with two foul balls. That's two strikes. That one looked high, and it was. That was close. Back to, ooh, and the pitcher is hit hard. And that is actually out number two, but it does move the guy to second base. Jack Lopez is now up to bat. And because of that hit on the pitcher, it will be changing out to Mr. Ocean. He's just got some good stamina, good velocity. Not much junk, but he's got some good accuracy. But Drummond is going to be done for the game after taking that one right in the something, face, chest. I don't really know quite where that hit him. I've seen a lot of these on video, but haven't actually seen it in person yet. And now we got a guy coming in with this sidearm that actually gets through past the shortstop. That'll put somebody on first and third with Larry Curtis up to bat. Not a ton of power, not a ton of contact or speed. We just need to hope he can get a base hit here. That is thrown way inside. That is ball number one. And that one is laced up the middle. That'll bring home a run. Nice hit, nice base hit. That's going to make the score two to one here in the bottom of the sixth. Huge hit there. What a nice play. Now Menace Reef is up to bat. Let's see if we can keep this going now with two outs. Right down the middle, and that is... Taken right down the middle. No, uh, we thought about running home, but we're not going to do that. Have, oh, although that probably would have worked out in our favor. Should have thought about it. John Johns, that bounced over the catcher, probably would have been safe. I would have decided to keep running there, but I returned my runners. Ooh, strike two, way outside. Didn't probably need to swing at that one, and that was way inside. Ball number one. That's just a simple play by the shortstop. And that'll be out number three, but the Wranglers did get a run. That's going to make the score two to one in the top of the seventh. Again, we're just playing seven inning games. So if we can get three outs here, this game will be over. Hemi Oldman is going to be in the game here to start for the Foresters. Havoc Middleman has been pitching pretty well. Let's see if we can uh, continue to ride him until the end of this game. Ooh, that one's going to be way inside, but he actually swings at it. 
That is going to go right to our shortstop there, Menace Reef. He's going to make the play, and that is going to be out number one. Daniel Rotten is now in the game. Actually, they're going to switch that out to Rock McCloy. He's got a little bit more power, so we're going to have to be careful with this one. We don't want to accidentally give up home run in this instance. So we're going to throw, throw, throw it low and inside there to start. Nice start here. That nice strike. That is going to be a play to our second baseman, and he is going to get it. Nice play there by Larry Curtis. Gets that second out here. Now, can't quite see the first now. Pepperonis, it looks like, is her last name. What a great name. Woods is going to be coming out. And Kawai, Koi, Pepperonis is going to come into the game here to pinch hit. And let's see if we can get another out here. And that is going to be a foul ball on that first pitch. Continues to kind of work the inside, moving back to the outside. That seems to be working. That is a foul ball. That's going to be strike number two. Let's come with the fork here and see if we can end this game right now. And we do for strikeout. Strike number three. Wranglers win this game two to one. What a great way to start this season. Foresters played tough, but ultimately Havoc Middleman had a great game pitching the ball. And the Wranglers pull out this victory in game number one in the Great Vacation League, Mountain Division. Great way to start. Let's take a quick look here. That first inning home run by Shaz Hatter. Ultimately opened the scoring. Not much other scoring until the fifth. And then one more in the sixth by the Wranglers to win this game. Severus Sasso did not have a good game at all. Our top player, Larry Curtis, played well. Played pretty well there with two hits. Obviously the big one for Shaz Hatter there with the home run. Uh, and obviously Larry Curtis had an RBI, so good job for those two guys. Havoc Middleman does get the win as he played all seven innings uh, and only gave up the one run. So good job for Havoc Middleman here in this first game. As you can see there, players of the game, Havoc Middleman, Adelmo Drummond, uh, the pitcher for... The Foresters, obviously he didn't have a terrible game, only giving up two runs, but it just wasn't enough. And Shaz Hatter with that home run to start the scoring for the Wranglers. So good start here again to the season. 1-0 here in the Mountain Division. Again, if you happen to be just joining us, we are in the Great Vacation League. And we are... Uh, you know, helping people decide where they should go on vacation. Should you go to the beach or should you go to the mountains? We've got the beach division and the mountain division. We are currently playing as the Wranglers based on my uh, Red Rock Wranglers from my NCAA Football 14 Dynasty uh, that I have going on here as well. If you haven't had a chance to check that out, you should. Um, but, uh, you know, we decided to do this uh, Wranglers team here on Super Mega Baseball 2. Uh, we decided to make this great vacation league to help us decide where we should go on vacation. Like I said, we got the beach division and we got this mountain division. Wranglers win their first game in the mountain division uh, against the Foresters. So good job to start here. We'll go ahead and simulate through the second uh, set of games here. Again, Wranglers now sit at 1-0. Again, if you see here in the beach division, you got the sharks, the aquatics, the swordfish, and the bottlenoses. It looks like the aquatics and the sharks are going to start out 1-0. The brown bears, uh, we're going to play the... Oh, we're jumping ahead here quite a bit here. So currently, everybody is kind of sitting at, uh, you know, the aquatics still at 1-0. Bottlenoses now at 1-1. One one. Swordfish 1-1. One one. Sharks 1-1. One the Logmen and the Wranglers sitting at 1-0. and oh. Brown Bears and the Foresters are now 0-2. Oh so we'll go ahead and get into this next game. It's going to be the Wranglers versus the Aquatics. So we're going to start here our first uh, interdivision matchup with the Wranglers versus the Aquatics. Wranglers in the Mountain Division, Aquatics in the Beach Division. Let's go ahead and get this game underway. 
Ralph McRalphie is going to be our pitcher. We're going to keep uh, our lineup as it was. Obviously, with the with the only thing being Ralph McRalph. Ral <laughs> I can't even say his name. Ralph McRalphie is going to be our pitcher here. So let's go ahead and get this game underway. Great first game for the Wranglers to start this season. Very exciting two to one game. Not a whole lot of scoring. But still, it was fun. This is going to be, looks like, uh, at our home stadium, Sakura Hills. Again, if you are uh, just kind of watching this, we are doing the, uh, just seven inning games, trying to keep things simple. Looks like Dispo there, their third baseman, is kind of uh, hurt or something. I don't quite know what that means. Uh, we'll have to see. I don't know. I don't quite know, I guess, enough about this game to understand what that means there for the Aquatics. They're kind of speed speed guys, so I imagine they're going to be trying to do a ton of stealing. Prism Churnley here is to start the game. Again, Ralph McRalphie is our pitcher. We're going to come back here and just kind of start to the inside here. That is strike number one. Looks like she was thinking about bunting there. She's so fast, it doesn't even matter. Big curveball is hit. Nice pitch there by McRalphy, but better hit. Nice hit right up the middle there. Next up is swept Despo. Despo? Oh, but she's already leaving. I don't know. <laughs> Interesting to, uh, maybe she's hurt. It says fitness, she is hurt. So actually, she's going to come out of this game. And Trent Vainman, as in uh, the veins in your body, I guess. <laughs> Vain Man. I'm going to call him Vain Man just because that's more fun. Interesting name. Inside, that is bunted. And I don't know if anybody's going to get there in time. Everyone is too fast on this team. They are a bunch of speed demons, it says. So that base, that uh, that is a base hit on a bunt. Next up is Bro Davis. It'll be interesting to see whether or not can they continue to just kind of do this uh, bunting, try to continue to get on base. That's very interesting. I don't think that was necessarily the case on that last play, but it worked out in their favor. Same pitch, strike number two. Come with the fastball there. Let's switch it up now to a changeup. Let's go inside and have it come back to the inside. Ooh, that's ball number three. Let's come right to the inside there. And that is strike number three. Out number one for the Wranglers. George Norwest is now up to bat. Pitch is going to go to the inside and be foul. Whew, that was close. That probably would have been a lot of extra bases as these guys are fast. Strike number two. And with the curveball here, try to get that inside. That is strike number three. Great pitch by Rick McRalphie there. Next up is Wash Harshwinter. <laughs> these names are awesome. Purposely put to the outside there. Now he's going to be out number three. After that initial hit there. Able to uh, get him three up, three down after that. And the Wranglers are going to come up to bat here again with Severus Sasso, Nico King, and Shaz Hatter. Severus Sasso, again, based on the fact that he is supposed to be... Vain Man is out of position. Ooh, strike number two. I'm not paying attention. That's ball number two. And that is a foul. Nice, nice one there. Ooh, that was a late swing and out number, out number one. Severus Sasso is struggling. He is our best player, but he is struggling as he has uh, gone 0 for 4 here to start this season. That is going to be a strike right down the middle. And that one is going to be hit right up the middle. Nice hit by Nickel King right up the middle. That is going to be a base hit. And that's going to get things started now for the Wranglers. 
Chaz Hatter is up. He's got some good power. He's able to hit a home run in that first game. In the first inning, even. Tries to get this first pitch hit. That is going to be a pop-up and be out number two. Now Jack Lopez is up. Can't quite see Sandra Day. Sandra Day is the pitcher for the Aquatics. And that one is blasted high up into the air, but it's going to come up just short of the warning track. And that is going to be out number three. Now with the score zero to zero here in the second inning, Jamie March, Arsenio Barneswell, and Danny Zoner are going to be up for the Aquatics. And here is Jamie March. Nice stash. Pitch to the inside, right back to the pitcher. Quick, easy out, number one. Mojo's a little bit neutral here for Arsenio Barneswell. His inside pitches again seem to be working well. We're going to dive for that one. He's able to stop it and hold that one to just a single. Although even if it would have been the outfit, it probably still would have been a single. But in any case, that is a base hit. Again, running it right to the inside there and high, and that is a strike. Now we're going to go outside and low. And he is running, trying to steal there, but that is a strike. That is strike number two. Let's come with the big, let's go with big curveball here. Inside, and that is strike number three. Out number two. Nice pitch there to get that out. And up next is Sandra Day, the pitcher. Should hopefully be an easy out, and they are running. And that ball is hit, and it's going to be a foul ball. Again, trying to steal there. Let's go back to the slider on the inside corner. And that one is hit. And the two outs will just get that out at first. That'll be out number three. Bottom of the second now. Larry Curtis, Menace Reef, and John Johns. JJ are going to be up. Larry Curtis had a uh, RBI last, last game. Has a couple nice hits. Let's see if he can continue in this one. Right off the bat, he hits it to the shortstop there, and that is going to be out number one. Sometimes that first pitch swing works, and sometimes it doesn't. Menace Reef now up. It'd be great if he can get on base because he's got the speed to try to steal here. There's a strike. That is strike number two. Not a good start here for Mr. Reef. And that one is a pop-up. That is going to be caught by the pitcher, Sandra Day. And that is going to be out number two. Catcher now, J.J. John Johns is up to bat. And he's pretty much middle of the road across the board. Power, contact, and speed. Gets jammed on the inside there. Takes it out to right. And that is going to be caught by the right fielder for out number three. Score is going to remain 0-0 as we move into the third inning. Prism, Churnley, Trent, Vainman, and Bro Davis are going to be up for the Aquatics. Again, they have a ton of speed. That's their MO. So if they get on base, look out. And there's going to be a try for a bunt, but she pops that thing up, and that is out number one. She was just trying for the bunt single. But that did not work out. Now Vainman is back up. That ball went outside. Let's come with a two-seam fastball. I haven't been throwing this one much. Get it to the inside there, and he swings, and that is strike number one. Got an itch there, buddy? Let's come with the slider down. Let's see if we can get him to get that there. But that goes to Larry Curtis in second. That is out number two. Ralph McRalphie must have had a bad taste in his mouth. He had to spit something there. He's going to be down. That's going to be a pop-up. Ooh, that actually goes foul. So that will be 
Strike number one. This one to the inside. Jams him. It looks like John Johns is able to get to that one. That is out number three. Now going into the bottom of the third with the score zero to zero still. Three hits for the Aquatics and just one for the Wranglers so far, but no score. Ryan Dropkin now our third baseman. Continue to hit those corners. And in that first game, ooh, nice play there by the pitcher. That looked like it was going to get over his head, but he just stuck his glue up there and caught it. Nice play. Ralph McRalphie now up to bat. And he hits a single right at the middle. Way to help, your, way to help yourself, buddy. Ralph, Ralph McRalphie, the pitcher, gets on base there. Nice play. I don't think we'll be trying to steal with him. <laughs> we'll see if Severus Sasso can get out of his slump here. Foul ball. That will be strike number one. One and one. Last one out there. Two right. But that is going to be strike number two. That was right at the middle. And that is thrown right. Hit right to the second baseman. He makes a nice catch. And that'll bring up now Nickel King. See if he can get a nice base hit. Oh, that was late. And those low pitches probably shouldn't necessarily even be swinging at him. I don't know why. How do I stop? Nickel King hits one. And that one is going back. Back, but that is not going to make it out. Just short of the warning track also. And that is going to be out number three. Now moving into the top of the fourth, still 0-0. Zero to zero. George Norwest is up to bat here to start for the Aquatics. Currently sitting at, uh, has not had any hits it looks like there on this season so far. Go right down the middle and he's going to pop that one up. Not quite sure where that one's going to go. Looks like it's going to be caught by JJ there, the catcher. Nice play. Harsh winter now up. He's about batting about 250. They're trying to go high and into the outside, and that is strike number one. And we're going to go low to the inside. Hey, watch out. Looks like you're throwing a lot of pitches down the middle. You told me that the last game. Stop telling me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> How can you tell me that was over the middle when it was way to the inside? <laughs> Funny. Funny game mechanics. That one has popped up, and that is going to be caught, it looks like, by Severus Sasso. For out number two. Jamie March is now up again. Again, these guys have a ton of speed. Luckily, we've been able to keep them off the bases. High and inside there again. And we'll go low and outside. Let's go uh, back to the inside there. And strike number two, and let's come with the big curve. Let's see if we can catch. Oh, way to fight that one off. It's a big one. Get that inside, and that one looks like it has popped up and it's going to be caught. A menace Reef there, moving over from shortstop, and that is out number three. Shaz Hatter, Jack Lopez, and Larry Curtis are going to be up here at the bottom of the fourth. Just need to get something going here with the score still zero to zero. Oh, just a little dribbler. Got nowhere. Shaz Hatter is going to be out for out number one. Jack Lopez now kind of has okay power. Ooh, that was low. I almost swung at that one. They decided to let it go. That's ball number two to the outside. Oh, and right back again to the pitcher. That pitcher must have some great fielding as he's made two great plays of comebackers right to him. Nice pitch there, but luckily that was low. Threw back in. I wasn't expecting that. That was going to be a strike. Jammed again to the inside. 
to see if that gets caught. Wow. Diving, woo! Luckily that didn't get caught. Larry Curtis still alive here with two strikes. Swings there, you can see the third baseman, he throws it over to first. And that's gonna be out number three. Again, zero to zero. Just five hits total in this game. Arsenio Barneswell now up to bat, currently sitting at uh, 500 average with one RBI. Foul ball here to start. Kind of like starting with this high inside, low outside. Seems to be working. I just want to keep this to the inside. Throw a little bit more purposeful Let's come with a two-seamer. That's bright. That's fun. High. And that has popped up, it looks like. Hopefully Severus Sasso can get over there, and in he does. That brings up Danny Zoner. 250 average currently. Actually, they're going to take him out and put in Justice Potter. She's got a little bit more power, contact, and speed. Looks like a little bit of a better hitter. They're just trying to get something going here. Third low to the inside. That is strike number one. Let's come with the slider high into the outside. That is a dribbler to McRalphy. Throws over the first, and that is out number two. Up now is Sandra Day, their pitcher. Let's see if we can just get a quick out here. That's what you always hope for. Strike number one, starting on the outside there first. Now we're going to come back to the inside low here, and that is a pop-up, and that is going to be foul. And let's come with the two-seamer high into the inside here. That is a nice, nice, able to fight that one off there. Got a little itchy butt, scratch that thing. Going all the way across, and that is strike number three, and out number three. And we continue to have a scoreless game. Now at the bottom of the fifth, Menis Reef, JJ, John Johns, and Ryan Dropkin are going to be up here for the Wranglers. Let's just try to see if we can get something, something going. Reef there, loving on his bat. Looks like they're going to take out uh, Justice Potter, who they put in as a pinch hitter, and put in Alfonso Strong. So a new fielder in. Shouldn't have swung at that one. That one was okay, but foul number two. That's going to be strike number two. Oops, and that was not. That was not paying attention. That was going to be strike number three. Three pitches, three strikes. And that is it for Morris Reef. JJ now up to bat here. That's going to be outside in ball number one. A very similar pitch, but it catches the corner that time. And this time right down the middle, swing, and that is going to be strike number two on the foul. Another foul there. This keeps coming with these sweeping curveballs, I'm assuming, or sliding. I'm not sure what that pitch is. But same pitches over and over and over again. Now Ryan Dropkin is up to bat. That was right down the middle this time, and I don't swing. That is going to be <laughs> Outside there for ball one. Ooh, high. That's going to make the count one and two. That is just a dribbler there to the second baseman. He gets over there, and that is out number three. Again, neither team can get anything going. Prism Churnley, Trent Vainman, and Bro Davis. We're going to start here for the Aquatics. We just need McRalphy to keep pitching well. He's doing well so far. That one is going to get through for a base hit. That could be trouble as this Aquatics team is fast. We just have to hope that uh, we can catch him off guard here. We probably should throw some fastballs here just in case they decide. Unless we can do this. And get the double play. What a huge play by the Rangers. And they got somebody on base finally. They're able to get the double play. And that will get bring up Bro Davis now with two down. Nice play by the Wranglers there. 
Whoop. I didn't really quite mean to do that, so we're going to try to get that out of the way. That was kind of moved out on purpose. That seemed a little bit dangerous to me. That, luckily, is going to go foul. Let's come here with the big curve. Get on purpose here and see if we can get him to chase it. Oh, that is fair. What a hit right over the first base. Luckily, just able to keep him to a single there. That's going to bring up George Norwest. Maybe time to start thinking about a new pitcher. They've gotten a couple of hits here. At this point, just kind of maybe need to try to get out of this inning. He's kind of starting to miss some pitches. And that one gets through. For another single, that's put somebody on now first and second. Tough decision here whether or not it's time. Stamina's kind of getting low here for Mr. McRalphie. Maybe it's time to make a change. It's a nice pitch there. JJ's going to look like he's going to get over there. And that's going to be out number three. Able to get out of this inning with no run scored, luckily. Looked like maybe they were getting something going, but luckily able to get out of this inning. Maybe it's time. Ralph McRalphy is going to be up here first. Let's go. I think we're going to go ahead and substitute him. As he uh, has, has had a great game, but maybe we should see if we can get something going here with somebody else. Let's take a look here. We've got Jefferson Howdy. Kind of middle of the road. He is fast, so if we get him on the get him on base, we maybe could get things going. Mac Cheesy. Kind of middle of the road there. Power, contact, and speed. Trevor did. Again, another speed guy. If we were able to get him on the on the base pass, we can maybe get him into scoring position, but he's got to have a nice hit first. And then obviously you got here Wesley Scales, who has some good power. Tough decision here. Kind of think it's between Jefferson Howdy and did his contacts a little bit better. I think we're going to put in Trevor did here to pinch hit for McRalphie, and we're going to see if we can get get something going here. If we can get him on base. He's pretty fast. Big wide pitch there, trying to catch that corner. It doesn't. Trevor did right over the middle. Hits that one foul. He's going to go to the outside. Right up the middle, and that is going to be a base hit for Trevor Did. Nice play, nice hit. Now we'll maybe have to see if we can get him moving on the base pass here. I think we're even going to right off the bat here run. That is going to be actually work out well in our favor, although it didn't really work out totally well because he couldn't really move over to the third, but that's okay. Getting something going here. Nickel King now up to bat with players on first and second. See if we can just keep this thing going. He pops one up there. That's going to get caught by the right fielder. Let's just get our players back. Not risk any sort of silliness. Now I'll bring up Shaz Hatter. He did have a home run in the first game, but still only sitting at a 200 average at this point. That's going to be high into the outside. That's going to catch the corner. I thought that, that's going to be low. Two and one now. Right over the middle. Looked like it swung a little bit too early. Ooh. Another foul. Now two and two. That's a big wide one. And that is going out to left. And that is going to get caught at the warning track. A nice hit by Shaz Hatter, but just not quite enough to get out. That would have been huge for the Wranglers. That's now going to bring up Jack Lopez. Seems like he's a little tense. Not that, ball, that is ball number one as it goes low. Next one's going to go high for ball number two. They're going to be hit right up the middle, and we're going to try to bring Did home as he is fast. Let's see if he can get there, and he does. What a huge hit. Huge play. RBI single there. 
Brings in Did for the 1-0 lead in this game. Oh, the fair ball, that's going to be out number three, but what a huge hit. Able to bring Trevor Did around for that run. That's going to make the score now one to nothing. We do have to pick a relief pitcher here. I think we should go ahead and bring in. Who should we bring in? We got Felipe Bruce. We got Brickley Peppers. And we got Mr. Beefy, Emmett Beefy. I think we're going to bring in Mr. Brickley Peppers. And up to bat here, Jimmy Marsh, Arsenio Barneswell, and Alfonso Strong. Again, we're just playing seven inning games here. Just kind of want to get, I don't really, I mean, I, I'm enjoying it. I love it, but, uh, you know, I don't. I want to get through a season quicker. So we're just playing seven inning games here. So this could be, if we're able to get three outs, this could be the game. Let's kind of hope that Mr. Peppers can come in here and he gets one. Right to Menace Reef, who's able to bring that over to first for out number one. Good start here, Arsenio Barneswell. I'm actually going to train, change it up and put in Navy push-ups. <laughs> I love these names. <laughs> Navy push-ups into bat. It's hilarious. And he pops one up. Out there to right field. That is caught by Shaz Hatter for out number two. Alfonso Strong now up to bat. Berkeley Peppers because he's got an itchy butt. Gonna keep this to the inside. That is ball number one. That was close. I don't know about that call. Get it to the outside now. And that one is just hit for a foul. with the big curve and that one is hit high now into the gap Severus Sasso is over to get it for the end of that game out number three and Wranglers win another close one what a great ending to that game as we were able to pinch hit Trevor did gets the base hit able to come around for the one run that was needed to win this game Brickley Peppers basically comes in for the save. Nice way to end that game there. As you can see, Severus Sasso continues to struggle, even though he's my best player, but he did have one hit there in that sixth inning to help us get that one run, so that was a huge play. Huge hit by him. This average is currently only sitting at a 167. Multiple players here, really, with 167. Nickel King, 333. But that is going to be the win for Ralph McRalphy with Brickley Peppers getting that save. Probably really should have brought in my closer. I didn't really think about that when I was doing it, but that's okay. In any case, Peppers gets that save, so good job for Peppers. <laughs> Looking at the players of the game, Ralph McRalphy obviously was able to... Uh, have a nice game pitching there. Six inning pitch, four strikeouts. Sandra Day, the pitcher for uh, the Aquatics, also had a not a terrible day. He's obviously only gave up one run, but uh, ultimately it was the one run that lost in the game. Brickley Peppers comes in to close the game. So all pitchers, players of the game is there. Good start here to the season for the Wranglers, currently sitting at 2 and 0. Oh. In the Great Vacation League. Good start here in the Mountain Division. Currently leading in the Mountain Division. I think we'll go ahead and we'll play one more game here. This is a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. So let's go ahead and simulate through here. Wranglers obviously currently sitting at 2-0. Oh. Let's we'll see what the Logmen do. Actually, they lost their game, so they'll be 1-1. One one, so we'll be leading the Mountain Division here. Again, if you are just joining us, the Great Vacation League made up of the Beach Division and the Mountain Division. Trying to decide where you should go on your vacation. Uh, currently, the Wranglers lead the Mountain Division made up of the Wranglers, Longmen, Foresters, and Brown Bears. Currently leading as they are sitting at 2-0 on the season. 
bottlenoses and swordfish are tied over there at two and one in the beach division. Uh, that division made up obviously of the bottlenoses, swordfish, aquatics, and the sharks. So good start here. This will be a good game here. The Wranglers versus the Logmen. Let's go ahead and play this game now. I'm enjoying this. I'm having fun. I hope you guys are too. We're going to bring in uh, our next starting pitcher is going to be Van Campbell. Uh, in this third game, he's going to be our first righty thrower. Uh, first two starters, Havoc Middleman and McRalphie, are both left-handed pitchers. So we are going to uh, obviously bring in our first right-handed pitcher. It looks like John Johns. Uh, is coming down there on us, you know, that I, ha I have read a little bit that you got to change out your catchers every once in a while. I think I'm going to let him go for one more game, and we'll kind of see how that goes. Hopefully it doesn't hurt us, uh, but we'll see what happens there. But in any case, let's go ahead and get this game underway. Game number three in the, gr <laughs> in the Great Vacation League. Currently, the Wranglers are leading really uh, overall with a 2-0 record. Two close games. As first game score was 2-1, second game 1-0. Very exciting, very fun. This game is going to be against the Logmen who sit right behind us in the Mountain Division at 1-1. One one. Their pitcher is going to be Undermeyer. We'll see how he plays. They're going to start this game here with Earl North, Judd Fiddeman, and Felipe Nor-Norwest. That's a funny name. <laughs> I love these names on here. It's awesome. All right. Let's see how Ryan Campbell does here. Or excuse me, Van. Van Campbell. We're going to start high into the outside, and that one has popped up. Let's see if Severus Sasso can get over there. He does, makes that catch, and that is going to be out number one. All these pitchers got itchy butts. I don't know what's up with that. Ooh, and that was blasted to the outside there. Shaz Hatter looks like he's going to get, get over there in the right field, and he does. That will be out number two. Two pitches, two outs. Felipe Nornorwest, he's got some good power and contact. We're going to have to be careful with this guy. Throw to the inside there. That's going to be ball number one. Let's come with the big curve here. Down into the outside. That's going to be strike number one. Nice pitch. Let's come back to the inside here. And down. He makes me nervous just because of that right there. That is going to be a home run. I should have stayed away from him. That is a great hit. Able to turn on that one. Nor Nor West's first home run, second RBI of the season. Nice hit there. Antonio Tropicus is now up, and he's got really good contact and not bad power. These guys are good hitters, these logmen. We're going to have to be careful with these guys. Gonna keep it low, keep it away, throw some to the outside and off the plate. See if we can get him to chase like on that one. Let's come back to the inside here with the slider. He's been down to the outside twice. And that one is hit high and in the air. Severus Sasso looks like he's going to get over there and make that catch for out number three. But the Logmen get on the board first with the home run there. Severus Sasso really needs to get out of his slump. He's had one hit so far in the first two games. And that one is going to get out to left field, but it's going to be caught. Ah. Out number one, he continues to struggle. He is our best player, but he continues to struggle. Up next, Nickel King. And that just outside, that was close. That's going to be inside now for ball number two. She comes right over the middle with the curve, and that is hit right up the middle for a base hit. And Nickel King. Nice hit by him. Shaz Hatter started out uh, our season really well with a 
home run, but since then he's kind of struggled. Let's see if he, he can get back on track. Right up the middle, nice hit. We're going, whoops. Uh, that was my fault. Bad base running there. That should have been a double probably. Bad, bad base running there on my part. Jack Lopez now up to bat. That's disappointing. And that one is blasted out to kind of right center. And that is going to go for a three-run home run. Huge hit. And we're going to finally get some runs here on the board after the first two games. Jack Lopez, first home run. Huge three RBIs. Huge hit. That is a fun way to start this game after two defensive struggle games. We're going to get things going here in this one. Hopefully that continues. I'd like to see a little bit more runs scored on the very next play. Quick out, but that is out number two. Only out number two. So that will bring up now Menace Reef, our shortstop. I looked close, so I decided to swing. Another one of these... Sweeping curves, but that's going to be a base hit. We're going to let Menace Reef try for second. He is going to not get there. Thought about it. Maybe that wasn't the best idea, but he's got a little bit of speed, so I thought, why not? But just, just short. Close one there. But in any case, three-run shot by Jack Lopez. Makes the score now 3-1 to one here in the second inning. Let's see if Van Campbell can get things underway here. Can get things a little bit better is what I should say. That's a good way to start there. Next up here is Flick Samplemore. Again, interesting. I love these names. These names crack me up. Didn't really mess with the, much of the name stuff. I kind of changed my team around just slightly, but I kind of kept the names as is just because I thought it, the names just make me laugh. Like this guy, Mateo Longstroke. My guess is, nope, he doesn't have a lot of power. I assumed he would have a lot of power, but he's got some good contact. These guys are definitely some contact specialists as they continue to get bat on ball. This time it's going to be caught by Menace Reef there, coming all the way from short stop out into the outfield there to make that catch. Wayne Middleman, the brother of my pitcher, Havoc Middleman, my starting pitcher, number one ace. I'm assuming that this is his brother, Wayne Middleman. A little bit more of a normal name as my guy is Havoc Middleman. We've got Wayne and Havoc Middleman. Ooh, that's going to be high. That's going to be trouble. Ooh. Let's come with the change up here. That's getting way outside. Ooh. Caught middleman off guard there. That's going to be a foul. It's going to make the... Whoa, oh, man. Can't find words. One and two, and that is strike number three, out number three. Nice pitch there by Van Campbell to end that inning. That'll take us now to the bottom of the second. J.J. John Johns, our catcher, is out to uh, start this inning for us. That pitch is way outside. Now it comes back inside. That is ball number two. That one comes right up the middle. Just a little simple hit there to the third baseman. He gets it across to first, and that is out number one for the log men now. Ryan Dropkin now up. He laces one there to the first baseman, and that is caught for out number two. Man, Campbell now up to bat. He actually bats lefty. That's interesting. He's going to hit a base hit right up the middle. Trying to help himself out here, trying to get on base. Nice hit. Severus Sasso now up to bat. Come on, buddy. Let's get things going here. Low ball. Low ball number one. 
Just to the outside, ball number two. Now he curves back in and catches that outside corner. Very same pitch, but more to the middle. Severus Sasso turns on that one, but not able to keep it in play. There's a nice hit, but that goes right to second. That is going to be out number three, and this score is going to stay three to one. Now going to the top of the third, Marge Undermeyer, Earl North, and Fudd Finneman. Excuse me, Judd. Fudd would be a fun name, fun name too, but Judd Finneman up for the Logmen. Marge Undermeyer doesn't look like she has a whole lot of anything going on. She is their pitcher. We'll have to see if she's able to get a base hit like Van Campbell was there on that last inning. She hits one there, but that's foul. Over to the inside, number, strike number two. Gonna come with a big curve. Ooh, tried to get up and get that one, but just couldn't, and she actually gets a base hit. <laughs> Pitchers are hitting the ball well today. Next up here is Earl North. Going up to the inside. That is a foul ball. Let's go to the outside corner. And that one is hit. Trying to get there. Uh, get that lead runner out. Not even going to try to throw it to first there as North was going to be there, and that would have been a potential throwaway potential. So next up now is Judd Fiddeman, or I like to call him Fudd Fiddeman. No. Keep that to the outside, and he swings strike number one. I didn't think that he would do that, but he did. Woo, he's running. Got him. Out number two. Nice play there by John Johns, getting that ball out, getting it to second for that out. Ooh, but that one is blasted. I hope that goes foul, and it does barely. Nice hit there by Judd Finneman. I'm not going to throw another curve. That seems like that's trouble. And that is strike number three after the almost home run. Next pitch, strikeout. What a pitch there by Van Campbell to get that out after that monster hit that looked so close to going out. Next up now for the Wranglers, Nickel King. First pitch to the inside, catches the corner, and that is a strike. That one is high. I shouldn't have swung at that one, but I did. And that is now way to the outside. Coming back to the inside, that is just a dribbler. Back to the pitcher, and that is going to be out number one. Shaz Hatter. See if he can get back on track. We have a nice base hit there earlier, but that one is just hit off the in, inside of his bat there and goes right to the shortstop. And that is going to be out number two for the Logmen. Jack Lopez now up to bat. He had the huge 3-1 homer there earlier in the game. Swung too early. I got excited on that one. Woo, and that is just going to be a pop-up. That was too high. Shouldn't have probably swung at that one. That is a quick 1-2-3 inning for the Logmen. Score still 3-1 for the for the Wranglers. Felipe Nor Norwest, who hit a home run earlier. He's just got a ton of power, ton of contact. He is trouble. I just, I, I, want, I think I need to keep it out of the zone there. It makes me nervous. Yeah, strike number one on that corner there. Let's keep it way out to the outside. Let's come back to the inside now. Change up. But that's going to go right over the middle. That's not going to be good. That's lucky. Nice play there by Jack Lopez to get over there and make that catch. That was a little nerve-wracking. 
So missed that pitch, that went right down the middle. Luckily, not turned into anything. Foul ball there, that's gonna make the count one and one. Here for Antonio Tropicus. Down into the inside, foul number two, strike number two. Come with a changeup now. We're gonna come with a changeup high just because we've been throwing everything low. See so if we can catch him off guard. No, and just miss on the dive. That's gonna be a base hit. Bobby Davis now up to bat. Again, middle of the road, power, a little bit better contact. Catch the inside corner, strike number one. The outside corner with the curve, strike number two. Now we're going to go up top. Get him for strike, no. Severus Sasso, if they can get over there, nice play. It's out number two now for the Wranglers. Flick Samplemore up to bat. She's got a ton of contact. So we just need to kind of try to keep it away from her, but that's not going to be good. Oh, but what a play there by Menace Reef on the diving catch. Huge play to end that inning. That's going to now take it to the bottom of the fourth, but the Wranglers still leading 3-1. to one. Larry Curtis, Menace Reef, and J.J. John Johns are going to be up to bat here. Oh, that pitch looked low, and it is for ball number one. Ah. Very late on that one. That one continues to get me. That was off the end of the bat, right to the second baseman, and that is out number two. Menace Reef, who obviously loves his bat there. Ready to bat now. Hopefully after that huge play, gets him pumped and get a nice hit here. He gets a base hit, not bad. Right up the middle there. That's good. We should probably try to maybe steal with him because he's got some speed. I think we'll just go ahead and do that here on the first pitch. Let that pitch go, and that is thrown, and he is safe barely. But he got there to second base. Nice steal. Very next play. Right up the middle by John Johns. Reef is coming around, and that is going to make the score four to one. Nice RBI single there by J.J. John Johns. And the crowd is rip-roaring excited. Ryan Dropkin now up to bat. Hoping he hits just a single little blooper there to shortstop. Luckily that wasn't uh, possible really to get to second base for the possible double play. It was just slow enough. Woo! And that's going to be a pop-up. That should be out number three, and it is. The Wranglers get another score there to make it now 4-2-1. Top of the fifth here. Mateo Longstroke is in the game. Again, he's another one that just has a ton of contact. He's able to get his bat on the ball. He's trying to prevent that from happening. Strike number one. We're going to come back here inside and low. Ball number two. Let's come with a high. Nah, I don't know if that's smart. Ooh. Come on. That was close. Missed to the outside. And he walked him. Talked myself out of that one. As I got nervous talking about all his contact. Wayne Middleman, again, the brother of Havoc Middleman, my starting, one of my starting pitchers. It's currently my ace. Interesting that they call that a strike. <laughs> Missed that one high. Let's come with a change up to the inside. Didn't really need to do all that. I wasn't, didn't quite see that that was just a line drive and out number two. I would have preferred the double play, actually. He should have dropped it. To the 
inside. Let's come back to the uh, let's come back to the outside. Outside and low. Able to get there, throw it over to first. Now it's out number two. Earl North now up to bat. Again, just a ton of contact possibility here. That's way outside. But way inside now. That counts as a strike. Let's go back to the outside. Low and outside. Ball two. Whew, that was close. I don't know about that. And outside again. Ball three. Gotta be careful here. Ooh, got him the swing at least. That is strike number two. Hmm. What do I want to throw? Ah, that wasn't what I want to throw. That is two walks now for Van Campbell. Maybe time to start thinking about getting him out of the game, but let's see. Judd Finneman now is in the game. Not low into the inside. That one is hit, but goes foul for strike number one. Let's go low into the inside. Ooh. Now with two outs, we'll just get that quick out at first. And that will be it for the top of the fifth inning with the score still now 4-1. to one. Wranglers leading. Moving on now to the bottom of the fifth. Severus Sasso is up to bat. Again, he is tense. He is struggling at just a 125 average. Be nice to see him get going. Continues to hit on these first pitches. They just seem to stay, to stay in the infield. We could probably start holding off. On him and waiting uh, for first, you know, waiting for those. Ooh, that was not good. <laughs> Shouldn't have swung at that one. Ooh, and that one catches the outside corner. Strike two. And that one's going to go way to the inside. And that caught me all sorts of off guard. And that's going to bring up now Shaz Hatter. One for two today and a single. And there's another one. Nice hit by Shaz Hatter. Hit the ball well today. Had one go all the way out to the warning track. Came up just short, but then had a couple of base hits since then. So he's definitely seen the ball well. Ooh, that was close. I don't know about that one. That's going to go low for ball number two. And that one I shouldn't have swung at. <laughs> And that is out number three. Now top of the six. Nor Norwest, Tropicus, and Davis are up. Nor Norwest did have a home run earlier in this game. That gave him their one score. As you can see, he's got great power in contact. Last, uh, last time up, he had a uh, just kind of a pop-up to left, luckily. That's going to be a good one, but that's going to... Ooh, that doesn't count as a foul. That was close. <laughs> Go to the inside there, try to jam it, and we do. Hits it straight over there to third base. To Mr. Ryan Dropkin, he gets it over to first. Four that out. The next pitch there, nice pitch by Ann Campbell. Trying to get over there with the dive, not able to do it. That's going to be a base hit. Nice play, nice hit, I should say. Bobby Davis now up to bat, 300 average. He is 0 for 2 today. Let's keep that at 0 for. Let's try to get this double play. Out number two, out number three, double play. And that's going to take us to the bottom of the sixth. Larry Curtis, Menace Reef, and J.J. John Johns are going to be up to bat. Last time this happened, we got a run out of the deal. So let's see if we can do that again here. That's going to be high and ball number one. High again, ball two. That is going to be a strike. I kind of let that one come in there on purpose. 
That's going to be low, ball three. Damn that man. one is going to be ball number four. And Larry Curtis gets the walk here to start this inning. And that's going to bring up Menace Reef. He's really more of a speed guy than he is really a hitter. We just need to get him on base. That is ball number one way outside. Catches the outside there for strike number one. Ooh, swung a little bit early on that one. That is foul and strike number two. And that one is just hit with the end of the bat over to second base. And that is going to be an out. JJ got that RBI earlier in the game, currently at one and two. Ball to the inside, ball number one. Outside now, ball number two. High now, ball number three. We're not going to do anything here. We're going to see if she can throw a strike. She does. That one is blasted route to center, but that's going to go right to the center fielder. And that'll be, ooh, and that'll be out number two. Ryan Dropkin up to bat now. He's kind of struggling at 0 for 2 today. Currently sitting at just an average of 167. And it looks like they're going to change out their pitcher to Vito Yellow. He comes out here with the ball outside to start. Right over the middle, and that is going to be very similar. It looked like the exact same hit out to center field for out number three. And that will take us now to the top of the seventh. Again, uh, again, we're just playing seven inning games here, so if we get three outs here, this game is over. Currently as the Wranglers lead, 4-2-1. Probably should put my closer in the game. As a matter of fact, I may do that now. Let's go ahead and get, uh, let's just uh, substitute here for Mr. Wally Flan. My closing pitcher. Let's see if he can get us out of this game here in this inning. Doesn't really have a whole lot of stuff. He's basically got a couple of fastballs and a changeup. He is a lefty, which is good. It gets one out here to Morris Reef at shortstop. Pulls it up for the first, and that is out number one. Good start here to the inning. Mateo Longstroke now in the game to bat. Keep that to the inside. Goes right back to Flan or Flan, Wally Flan. And that is out number two. Wayne Middleman now in the game. He is currently a little bit tense. I'm sure he wants to try to do something well for his team. He starts off with the strike off the bat here. Wally Flan, that is strike number two. And let's, uh, we haven't run, let's run this two-seamer inside. I, whoop, I missed there. And that one is hit up out to left field. Jack Lopez over there to catch it, and that is out number three, and that'll be the game. Another win for the Wranglers starting out this season, 3-0. I don't know if that means I should up the ego, but for the most part, I'm liking how these games are playing out. Two close ones, two to one in the first game, one to nothing in the second game. Got a few more runs in this one at four to one. So very exciting games, very fun to play. Let's take a look here. Severus Sasso again continues to struggle. He's now hitting at. Uh, 111 there, Nickel Kings 333, Shaz Hatter 333, big one there, Menace Reef is doing pretty well at 375. Uh, ultimately, great game again here, another win for the Wranglers, Van Campbell gets the win, Mr. Wally Flan, Flan, Flan I'm going to call him Flan, Mr. Wally Flan gets the save, <laughs> a great job by him. Jack Lopez with the three run homer basically won this game for us so he is first in our player of the game second is Van Campbell who, has, who had a nice game pitching Felipe Nor Norwest for the Logmen did have his home run 
Uh, so that's why he's there in third. Moving on here. Whoop. We're going to return to our season hub here. Again, the Wranglers starting out the season here 3-0 in the Great Vacation League. Great start here for the Wranglers in the Mountain Division. Uh, again, we're just playing a 16-game season. So with three games down, that is just a great way to start here. We'll have to see whether or not uh, we continue to play this well. If so, we may have to change the ego a little bit. But I at least want to get halfway through the season before I make any changes. Um, we're going to take a quick look here at or simulate the rest of this week, if you will, and see where things stand. Finish up this here. It looks like the Swordfish are playing well. They're currently sitting at 3-1 and one at the top of the beach division. Wrangler sitting at 3-0. and oh. After that, it's kind of Bottlenoses at 2-2, two and two, and Aquatics at 2-2, two and two, and Foresters at 2-2. Two and two. So that's kind of where the Great Vacation League stands. We're going to go ahead and end our stream here for this evening. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. I look forward to continuing, uh, continuing this league and see where the Wranglers go. See if we continue to win close games or whether or not we start to lose. In any case, I appreciate you watching. If you have not uh, followed, please do so. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for your support, and we will see you next time in the Great Vacation League.